Okay, I've just taken my pond net off. I need to attend to a little shower that looks like it's got a bit of a bump on it. There you can see the fish swimming without a, without a net. Uh, where's the little guy that needs some work? Uh, I'm walking along the pond wall. A lot of foam on the top of the water. I get the size of some of these guys. Just from the feeding of the sake ikari. There you can see them. Look at the look at that. Some serious bulk coming on. And Sankis, Karashigoi. There's that shower that I got in from my cousin. Look how nice that's doing. There's the little baby we've been tracking. That one there, the shower in the middle, growing nicely. But looking good. We've had a lot of rain. Garden is crazy, crazy wet at the moment. It's growing really, really nicely. You can see the backyard. It's a very wet and rainy day in, uh, in Cape Town. So I just need to sort out one of these fish before I watch the test against uh, South Africa versus uh, England. There's the shower that I want to look at. It's got like a little bump on the side, a little mark on the side. I need to pull him out and have a, a look and see what's, uh, what's going on. Pond's looking nice and, uh, nice and clear. See the females are getting nice and fat. It's going to be a good breeding uh, season, and I'm definitely going to breed this year. Uh, I think with the, the door hole coming in, it's going to be much easier for me. I might do some karashis this year again. I haven't done that for a while. Maybe even kohaku. Look at that female. That'll be a really good idea. With everything looking so, so good. Okay, let's get the shower out and take a look at it and get it uh, dipped just for a precaution. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't think it's an ulcer. I think it's just a, a, a bruising from being knocked, but I just want to take care of it anyway. See, so everything in the garden just uh, comes to life once you've had some rain. Uh, the birds really, really enjoy the food that I'm putting out. That's a weaver bird. But uh, literally this garden just fills up with birds once it's... Uh, uh, once it rains and once I put food out, every uh, weekend I tend to put stuff out for them. They they come in uh, uh, in droves. I was right to take this guy out. Look on the side there, you can see some of the scales are lifted. There's some red marking. He's definitely knocked himself quite hard. Um, so that needs to get dipped. I need to take care of that so I don't have a, a problem there that doesn't get infected. I don't think it's uh, bacterial. I just think it uh, uh, is a wound where he's knocked himself on something as he's jumped up or uh, whatever but uh, yeah you need to take care of it pretty quickly okay, so here we've got a, 
the basin with some water in. Uh, it's 40 liters of water. I'll put four grams of potassium in, so one gram per 10 liters. Uh, and then uh, I'll let that uh, stand, dissolve a bit, and then the fish goes in for, uh, for five minutes. And I'll do that in a couple of days time once I see how it's, uh, uh, how it's healing. But yeah, it's important to get onto these things pretty quickly. Possibly I've left this a day or two late. It's been raining so I haven't been outside much. But uh, yeah, definitely need some work. Okay, there we got our potassium in. We're just letting it stand a bit. We just swish that around, getting it to uh, uh, dissolve into the water before we can put the fish in for a bit. Okay, so here we've got the fish coming in now getting scooped out with a sock net. You need to be very gentle with the fish. The fish goes into the bowl in the sock net. We set the timer and off it goes. Smaller ones I don't actually let loose in the bowl on the uh, on their own. I mean obviously the other problem here is this thing might jump uh, might jump out. We, we stand by the bowl to make sure it doesn't do that. But uh, the, the little ones we normally leave in the sock net and, and dip them in the sock net. The bigger ones go out into the bowl because they're easy enough to get uh, out once they've been uh, dipped. So now we wait for five minutes to uh, see if we can uh, help this fish out. So you actually got to watch the fish and if, uh, if the fish isn't jumping or, or upset with the potassium then it's fine. If it's trying to jump out all the time then it's best to actually put it back in the pond. You don't want to stress it, uh, stress it out. But uh, I mean, this one looks like he's handling it pretty fine. You can see the knock on the, the side there, uh, on the right hand side. As it comes out the water, you can see the, the raised scalation. This is a view of my uh, spare ponds from the top. So this is the section where I keep my fish, where I do all my fish uh, breeding. It's this section. Look how full the ponds are, and that's just from the rain that we've been uh, we've been having. Crazy, crazy, full at the moment. Okay, so let's check on this fish. See how it's doing. Still got some time to go. It's time. Taking the fish out, putting it back into the into the pond, and off it goes. If the fish at this point is struggling or swimming on the surface or battling to breathe, you've done something wrong. You've either put it in for too long, or the potassium is too uh, uh, is too strong. If you leave it in for too long, the gills are going to get burnt, the fish is going to get damaged, and uh, you're going to have problems. But there you can see straight out of the dip and it's swimming around and fine with its uh, with its mates so we'll have to just keep an eye on that and see how it uh, how it goes i'm very keen to start breeding this season in fact i'm going to start my daphnia ponds from next weekend to get ready for for breeding but uh, this afternoon i've got important things to do i'm going to watch the the rugby test so no playing with uh, fish this afternoon. Um, but if you want to get these videos on a regular basis, please uh, subscribe to the channel so that you'll get them automatically. And let me know if you're enjoying them. Please like the videos if, you, if you're enjoying them. Uh, I'll keep posting them. If you've got ideas in terms of what you want to see, what you need help with, just uh, also comment and, uh, and uh, let me know. The more interaction I get, the better. Thanks. Cheers.